first of all, I was um, sad that adults in our town haven't been able to figure this out already. Bjorn Bennett has two kids in Carroll ISD, a high schooler and an eighth grader. In our town, black, brown, gay, special needs kids have always deserved to get the same protections that everybody else gets, and they haven't. So I hope that the DOE is gonna be able to protect the civil rights of those kids as well. The DOE, or the U.S. Department of Education, has an Office for Civil Rights. On Wednesday, Carroll ISD confirmed the Office for Civil Rights opened three investigations. A district spokesperson said the student situations under investigation happened well before the school year and administration. It could be related to athletics, it could be related to um, grading, it could be related to placement in classes, anything of that nature. Um, if discrimination seeps into those types of decisions, then that's um, an area where um, the Civil Rights Department would, have, would want to investigate. That's former federal prosecutor Andrew Romani. They'll interview relevant witnesses, gather documents, um, look at their policies and procedures. Meanwhile, Tim O'Hare is the founder of the South Lake Family's Political Action Committee. In a statement, he said in part, voters in South Lake Carroll ISD have made it clear they want conservatives with a pro-America, anti-critical race theory agenda on our school board. O'Hare is also running for Tarrant County Judge. As for Carroll ISD, it says it's fully cooperating with this process and diligently pulling all documents requested. Nobody with the district was available for an on-camera interview today. But last week, the superintendent spoke via Facebook Live. My job is to take care of kids. My job is to take care of our staff and to ensure that we're providing a world-class education in a safe environment for our kids and our staff. In Southlake, I'm Ariel Placencia.